Hi, in this video I will tell you about the case of Anatoly Moskvin. He was a scientist, university professor, considered by some as genius, but in his free time he was digging graves and making dolls out of bodies. In November of 2011 police was investigating cases of grave desecrations in cemeteries in and around Nizhny Novgorod. The investigation led them to the apartment of 45-year-old Anatoly Moskvin, where they found 26 dolls made out of mummified bodies of girls and women between ages of 3 and 25. Police, journalists and even parents of Anatoly were shocked by it. But how and why did this happen? Anatoly Moskvin lived in Nizhny Novgorod, the fifth largest city in Russia. Anatoly was a graduate of philological faculty of Moscow State University. He became well known in academic circles. His main areas of interest were Celtic history and folklore and also languages and linguistics. Anatoly had a deep interest in cemeteries, burial rituals, deaths and occult. He kept a personal library of over 60,000 books and documents as well as a large doll collection. Fellow academics describe Moskvin as both a genius and an eccentric. Anatoly lived with his parents and never dated. As an expert on Celtic culture, Moskvin learned that ancient druids slept on graves in order to communicate with spirits of their dead. He also studied the culture of peoples of Siberia, in particular the ancient Yakuts, and discovered they had similar practices. Moskvin began searching for obituaries of recently deceased children. When he found an obituary that spoke to him, he would sleep on the child's grave in order to determine if the spirit wished to be brought back to life. He felt great sympathy for the dead children and thought that they could be brought back to life by either science or black magic. After exhuming the corpses, Moskvin dried them using combination of salt and baking soda and then hid the bodies in secure dry places in and around cemeteries. Once the bodies dried, Moskvin carried them to his home where he used various methods to make dolls in an attempt to give the children functional bodies to be used when he eventually discovered a way to bring them back to life. Unable to prevent the bodies from withering and shrinking as they dried, he would wrap the limbs in strips of cloth and stuff the body cavity with rags and padding to provide fullness, sometimes adding wax masks decorated with nail polish over the faces before dressing them in brightly colored children's clothes and wigs. Moskvin was aware that he was committing a crime, but he felt the dead children were calling out to be rescued and believed that rescuing the children was more important than obeying the law. He was also motivated by his own desire to have children, specifically a daughter. Anatoly often regretted that he never had children and at one point attempted to adopt a young girl against the wishes of his parents, but his application was declined due to his low income. Moskvin denied any sexual attraction to the dolls and instead considered them to be his children. He spoke to and interacted with the corpses, sang songs to them, watched cartoons with them, and even held birthday parties and celebrated holidays for their benefit. Anatoly was gathering his collection for 10 years and his parents thought that it's his homemade dolls. They knew that at some point he was studying dolls and their role in history. They thought it's weird and often told him, as they said, to stop playing with dolls, but they never could have believed that they have human remains inside. Anatoly even had his favorite doll, Masha. He was introducing his and his parents' guests to her and was seating her at the table during holidays and constantly talking to her. Moskvin was charged for the desecration of graves and dead bodies, a charge which carried up to five years in prison. In hearing on 25th May 2012, court deemed Moskvin unfit to stand trial, releasing him from criminal liability. Psychiatric expertise stated that Anatoly had a paranoid schizophrenia. He was instead sentenced to coercive medical measures. The prosecution was satisfied with the decision and did not appeal the verdict. 
Since 2012, Anatoly is in psychiatric hospital under treatment, and soon he might be released. Doctor that worked with him stated that Anatoly is in remission. He even got a girlfriend while under treatment. She found out about his case through the internet and started visiting Anatoly in hospital and even pays for his lawyer. Couple planning moving in another city after Anatoly will be released. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing to channel. And tell me what do you think about this case. Do you think that Anatoly needs to be released or maybe he should stay in hospital indefinitely because he's dangerous?